I get in trouble every time I make comparisons. Okay, I do get in trouble. And of course, we saw a head-to-head -head match in uh, uh, with Green Bay last week. I mean, last year. Uh, we've all got that burr in our saddles. I'm anxious for Dak to get a, sh a chance to show he's the best with the Cowboys star. And you think he can do that without a new deal? Oh yes. What gives yes. you that confidence? Yes, but don't, don't, that might imply that. We're not going to do a new, a new deal, and that's just not the case in my mind. But uh, we've got a we've got a lot we're weighing, and I was trying to say uh, those things change. They change every day, and uh, uh, goodness, we've had key quarterbacks stay out for the first six games as recently as last year. Are, are you still confident? So it can happen. It can happen. Are you still uh, confident? Let's give that credit. Are you still confident, y'all? Can you and Dak's agent can get to the right number, given what the quarterback market is becoming. Yes. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk right back like i never left what's good with y'all yo first of all i had to play that clip i had to let y'all hear jerry jones say he feels like Dak prescott is better than jordan love now before y'all say it because i said it too man jerry going crazy so i don't know what jerry says is true good wrong i don't know you know one day it's like jerry got dementia the next day jerry's man see now but no not see now but like coherent um and then Jerry comes off the stage the other day. I don't know if y'all heard this story and says, yeah, I do that stuff on purpose. I like to mix it up. He wants to keep us off kilter and not know what's going on, what's true. But today, for the interest of this video, I'm going to take him at his word because I can kind of start realizing when Jerry is giving you bullish, um, he starts to, uh, 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 like when he starts to hit you with, uh, uh. He trying to come up with something to kind of stir the pot. When he's speaking concise and clear, I feel like that's when Jerry mean it. Um, Jerry Jones um, at um, the opening ceremony of um, Cowboys camp, you know, they do that every the Saturday of the opening of practice. Um, he was talking about Dak Prescott and Jordan Love, and he was saying, you know, he feels like Dak Prescott is the better quarterback. Well, you heard the clip, you know, and he'll be able to get a chance to show it with the star on his helmet. Now, I would have took that with a grain of salt. Jerry just talking. You know, no big deal. I ain't going to trip. But then Stephen Jones interview says that the Cowboys have made an offer to C.D. Lamb. And that was like, okay, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking. And an offer to Dak Prescott's agent. No, we cooking. Now, I am an honor under the impression, under understanding that I feel like Dak Prescott's contract has more to do with the guarantees than the actual number. That number sometimes means nothing. 55, 56 million, all that stuff means kind of nothing. What's the guarantees? Because that's the money I'm actually going to get. You can give me a contract worth 90 million a year. If the, only the first year is guaranteed, it don't kind of matter. So, it's all about the guarantees, I feel like, that contract. CD's contract, with what they said recently, this is what gets me excited. You heard Steven talking about with the contracts. They want to become the, um, that, that CD Lamb and Michael Parsons want to become the highest paid non-quarterbacks in the league. So you kind of already know your floor. You've already said it out loud. So I know that if they made him an offer, that they have to be coming correct. There's no way with Justin Jefferson making his, what, 34, 35? That you're going to offer CD 31. You're just not. You're not. Now, maybe it's going to be right under that because you can say, well, Jettas is better than you. If you want to argue that, I think he's better than Justin Jefferson. I stand on that. I was still, I remember, I was the one that was arguing with a lot of y'all saying that CD Lamb was a number one when a lot of y'all thought he wasn't even good enough to be a slot receiver. Y'all was acting like he was a three. Y'all was treating him like Jalen Tober. No disrespect. Although Jalen Tober has been balling. Um, check out my video from yesterday. I'm excited about this. This means that they're talking. And Jerry Jones confirmed that. Jerry Jones confirmed that we're talking. So Stephen Jones and Jerry Jones are outwardly saying, hey, we're in contract negotiations. 
As of two days ago, nothing had been happening. But now that they're at camp, when a lot of Cowboys deals get done, a lot of deals, I don't know what it is. I think it's the agents is in town, um, players is in town. Although I think CeeDee Lamb, he's, of course, he's not there. But I think, I don't know what it is. It's like they get there, they get in the football mode. They get deals done. I'm hoping that they're getting deals done. Dak Prescott's birthday is coming up. That'll be the dopest birthday gift ever here. Get this contract. Get this money on. You know what I'm saying? Get this money on and you goody. But I just like to hear that they talking. I like to hear that they talking. I like to see good things moving in the right direction. It's been a long off season. Get Dak Prescott done. Stop playing. Everybody else has been paid. Everybody. Jordan Love, Tua Tagovailoa, Trevor Lawrence, George, uh, um, Jared Goff. Um, it's mad. like six quarterbacks have been paid this offseason. It's time. I say go ahead and give him his 56. If Jordan Love's making 55, go ahead and get Dak his 56. Let's move on. But we'll see. Uh, get that guaranteed money together. Dak Prescott will sign the deal. We out of there. Um, as far as CD, give him the proper deal. Get him signed. We out of there. But I'm happy that things is moving forward. Y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about these comments. Um, I'm excited, man. Things are starting to actually shake. It's been a quiet, long, draining-ass offseason. It's time to make some positive news. Get them deals done. I'll holler.